Welcome to Cambodia. Jesus walked through a field very similar to this about 2,000 years ago and he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. That is so true in the nation of Cambodia in this generation. A nation is looking for transformation and God is radically moving. Cambodia's population is 80% under the age of 30 and 42% under the age of 15. There's very low education levels. There's extreme poverty. God has opened up a huge opportunity where if this generation turns to Jesus, this whole nation will be changed for His glory and for their good. We're surrounded here in Cambodia by four of the communist closed nations to the gospel. Laos, Myanmar, Vietnam, and China are all surrounding us. And God has been speaking to us that Cambodia is a strategic location to train up people to be sent out to those nations to bring the gospel to those places. Hey, this is Jeremiah from Gibson's Go Global. I'm here with Whitney. She's been part of the base staff here for four years at YWAM Batenbong. She just has a few things she wants to say to you. Hi everyone. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about Cambodia. Cambodia is a, at a really strategic time in its history as a nation. It's a generation that is looking to find their identity. It's a generation that's looking for the heart of the Father and to be told that they're significant, that they have a destiny. And if the church uh, slowly rises up to reach this generation in Cambodia, the entire nation will be changed. Uh, for ages to come. We really feel like God has called us here in Batamong to be a training hub for the region, that we would uh, have training schools where Chinese and Vietnamese and Laotian believers would be able to come and to study the scriptures and get raised up and then take uh, the gospel back to their nations to bring the kingdom to their own nations. So, a really exciting time in Cambodia. God gave me three words specifically for Cambodia while we've been here. The first is that Cambodia is the heart of Southeast Asia. And through the love and compassion of the Lord, that they would be encouraged to go out to the nations around them. And that would be the fuel that fuels them. The second thing that God gave me about the nation of Cambodia is that the fields are ripe with harvest pray that God would send forth the workers into the harvest. So we've been praying that the workers would go forth and the people themselves would be willing to go forth as God calls them, wherever He calls them. The third thing God gave me about Cambodia was that, that call to be a witness. And witnesses speak of what they know and they see to be true. And so that everywhere that the people go, that they will speak boldly about, about who Jesus is and how they know Him to be the truth. <laughs> 